Welcome back to the tutorial. This is the final step in setting up a custom layout. Osculator is a program that translates the TouchOSC data into something most programs can understand. Actually, TouchOSC doesn't need any help communicating with certain programs that can understand OSC commands, but most sequencers and DJ software only accept MIDI CC data for control, so this program is necessary. It has a minimum donation of $19.99, which isn't so bad for what it does. We already talked about getting your iPad to communicate with Osculator, so that part should be done. Now we need to set up our own patches. Make sure that lock is turned off. You'll want it on while you're performing, but for programming you need to keep it off. The quick key for this is Command L. Remember that. On the iPad, move all your faders and knobs one by one. They should show up on the Osculator screen. Once you've moved them all and they're all on the Osculator screen, lock things into place. Now it's time to start assigning these to various commands that the program can understand. Select the item you want to assign and click in the event type column. You can see a range of choices here. For the most part, you'll be dealing with MIDI CC and possibly MIDI notes. Select MIDI CC for now. The second thing to choose is what MIDI channel you're going to send on. I usually keep all of mine on channel 16 so it doesn't conflict with any hardware I might be using. Most hardware doesn't send on channel 16, so you should be safe here. Finally, select the CC number you want. This can be anything. Just make sure they're all different. The important thing to remember with all of this is that each of these numbers has to be unique from any other controller you're using. This can be done through a different MIDI channel or individual CC numbers. You can integrate the iPad into a current setup but the numbers all have to be unique or you'll end up controlling the same stuff twice. After you've got everything set up in Osculator, just go into your program of choice, in this case Ableton Live, and assign parameters as usual. Now we've reached the end of our tutorial on setting up your iPad to control your computer. Thanks for watching.